Now we got to get into some of the heat when it comes down to Javante Davis and where he fits in all this. You know what I'm saying? I know that in your pro debut, um, he brought you out in Atlanta. You guys have a cool relationship. Um, when we talk about matchmaking as a fighter um, versus the fans want to figure out the mass matrix. What's a bigger fight at the end of the day? Obviously, it's Tank versus everybody, right? Yeah, but but it's like, is it Tank and Haney? Is it Shakur and Haney? Like, what's I the biggest if, fight? If I had to pick with that one just being on the biggest fight, it'll definitely be the Haney versus uh, Tank. And I think that, that's the one that everybody want to see. I feel like Shakur, Shakur is still kind of building his name on that end, to me, in my opinion. I feel like Devin Haney is a bigger draw for a tank fight right now. So you think... Fuck you the think that they got to go crazy. So you think what? What do you think? You think Haney... You think Haney probably get the, the shot first? 100%. As long as he'll lose the belts or losing between that time, yeah, definitely. I mean, even if he does, I still think they'll end up fighting eventually. But, you know, to make the fight look, you know, as big as the magnitude of it, yeah, you got to stay undefeated. You got to keep the belts. Um, and that's the bigger fight. That's the bigger fight, for sure. Tank and Devin. Mm. Um, stylistically, for a fight that you would like to see when it comes down to 50-50 matchups, because before I get into that, you probably believe, what, Tank beat Devin? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Mm. Mm. By KO. By KO? Yeah, I feel like uh, Devin has a problem with Southpaws a little bit. Like watching him fight uh, Jojo Diaz, um, Lomachenko, um, I think one other guy. And uh, he has a little bit of a problem with Southpaws. And again, uh, Shakir and uh, um, Attain, those guys, IQ is very high. He did good against Lomachenko, don't get me wrong. But Lomachenko is a smaller guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's very small. Even for 35, he's small. Mm -hmm. So, you got a tank in front of you or secure. It might be a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? But if tank does knock it out, Devin, it'll probably be in the late rounds for sure. It won't be early. So, I would go with probably like nine, ten rounds. Mm. In my opinion, I feel like Devin is going to be boxing his ass off when, when, when he in there with tank. He's going to be on his A game. But I feel like uh, eventually, you know, tank will set you up for that. Get you a body weight. Talking to Sugar Shane Mosley a couple days ago, he said that you got a nice little punch on you. Um, you know, when it comes down to uh, Shakur and, and Devin, who do you believe is the tougher fighter, the guy that got more dog in him? Of course, 100%. Like, you, it depends on what type of fight it is. Don't get me wrong. Because sometimes you got that dog in you, but it just got boxing your head off. You're never going to get to bring that out, no matter how much you try. It ain't going to work. They stand smart and sharp all the time. But when you say dog, I feel like, hey, you losing, you're going to get your all. Or if you got buzz with a shot, you still going to get your all. Or it's, just, it's a dog fight, but you're going to bring it out. That's what, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like Tank got all of that. I haven't seen it too much out of Devin or Shakur. I feel that's like who, that's who I really wanted to know, like, who got more of that, do you believe? Because I hear a lot on the gym that Shakur um, – you know, got a lot of dog in him. You know what I'm saying? He just hasn't been able to show it. But then I also heard Devin got a lot of dog in him as well. Did you did like, you I not hit him? Like did you not hit him enough, to Michael? Like, what's good? Nah, I don't even know. I can't, I can't, you know, I ain't going to really spill too many beans, you know, for camp wise. But uh, me and Devin, you know, it's a picture where we both smile and, you know, yeah, it was. I, I got it. I got that. That's, that's on the thumbnail right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was. You it like was this? Like yeah, we was talking. We was talking a little. We was talking a little trash with each other. And, um, Dude, was that know, more competitive? Was it? Was that more competitive? Like back and forth? Yeah, 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 definitely. Very competitive. Very. See, my brother right here keeps it a hundred. Just to let y'all know, that's that that he's just keeping it a hundred. Now, when you when you fought Shakur, um, Spar Shakur, honestly, like, was it less competitive due to the fact that? There's just another level that you got to to get to. Yeah, uh, when I sparred him, I was three and zero at the time. I was like off for like a whole year, like after, during COVID. Um, so yeah, man, it was it was. Hey, man, I keep it. I'm a realist, man. 
end of the day, I'm going to sparring and sparring. Don't get it twisted. Mm-hmm. A totally different fighter right now from years ago. Yep. But um, all in all, yeah, it was a, another level that I was on. Like, I got to step my game. And guess what? Sparring with him, you know, for a whole camp by yourself, three days a week, four minute rounds, however many rounds, he's like, hey, look, I need eight, I need 10, I need 12. You got to do it. You got to do it. And you got to keep in that work. I mean, obviously, I was there the whole camp, so I wasn't there for no reason. Still gave good work. But at the end of the day, yeah, sparring with him at that time, it made me like, all right, let me step it up. You know, mm-hmm. never get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So. Even with both of them, with both, all three of these guys, you know, they all helped me in major ways. So I'll get it twisted. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Because, like, you know, you you going into uh, Devin and the Cambosis fight, you guys, you don't have a style like Cambosis. You know, you're no. longer. He kind of throws short, fast punches versus you. You're more, like, precise, sharp yep. shooting. <laughs> Obviously, you can put them together, but you're a lot more slicker than, you know. Um, yeah. Just a completely different fighter, but obviously styles make fights. So if you prepare for a super sharp shooter and you're going against a guy that doesn't have the length that is not less sharp, you're going to get better work. For instance, people thought that Terrence Crawford, um, he needed a big uh, a big southpaw. What did he do? He wow. used your core, a sharper southpaw, wow. you know, so understandable. Now, going into tank. Right. And how does Tank fit, like come into all this? You know, a lot of people say Tank um, hasn't been in there with nobody. Um, he hasn't fought nobody. Um, and a lot of people, you know, view that, you know, Shakur could probably out, you know, outpoint Tank. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say that, yo, if Tank lands a beautiful one, he's going to go down just like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you think about, you know, dog boxing ability? They're both, you know, Shakur and Tank are both southpaws. You know, we got Devin Haney that kind of um, has a little trouble with southpaws. Um, how does how does Tank fit in with the whole mix? Obviously, he's the cash cow of the sport, um, or just at the 135 division. And before you get that, we got 81 people on the live with only 26 likes. We got to get these likes up, ladies and gentlemen. We got my homeboy, the Michael Harris, in the building. So, so I feel as though, I mean, you know, you can say what you want to say about Tank and the people that he fought, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, he still goes out there and do his thing each and every fight. Same with other guys. I mean, it's I mean, my bad. But like, he the man right now. You know what I'm saying? He got the game in the headlock on the boxing end. Uh, he's definitely the face of boxing right now, especially in the 135 division. Um, I just feel as though he hasn't had that chance to fight these guys, especially being under Mayweather promotions at the time that he was. You know, Mayweather going to move the way that he want to move. Tank, team could feel that he's ready, but, you know, Mayweather, you know, was calling the shots. So, I don't know. You went pitch black on me, bro. You want to come in and come right out? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get to some of these comments as well. Um, you know, shout out to everybody in the building as as well. Coda, what's going on? Thank you for the love, bro. Um, you already know, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be also tapping in one of uh, Co- uh, Shakur Stevenson's coaches. That's been, you know, his mint man, uh, you know, Coach Jay. Um, he's also King Jr.'s dad, uh, a really good friend of mine. Uh, so we're going to be tapping him in. You know, letting everybody know what their thoughts and then also obviously tapping in with my, you know, supporters in the building as well um, and getting your thoughts in it. So we got DeMichael coming right in right now and then um, we're going to continue the show and just keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, so sometimes when some people call you, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then when people call me, I'm pitch black for the whole segment. You know what I'm saying? But I can hear y'all. Yeah. So, um, nevertheless, um, you know, you said that Tank, you know, got it on Smash. Um, you also said that if a matchup with Tank versus uh, Haney, you believe Tank wins the, the fight. Um, what special things did you catch from Tank in your sparring? Because I know you guys are cool, and at the same time, the 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 eye of an actual sparring partner to face a guy like Javante Davis, that is a crazy threat. 
and is arguably the Mike Tyson of the lightweight division. Uh, being in the ring with him and watching him spar numerous of times, the thing I like about Tank the most is that he sets up a lot of 99.9 of his shots. They're all, he, it's the pitcher to sleep, and he's going to set it up. Uh, but the best thing about Tank, Tank has a great eye. He see a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to keep getting the same shot off on him or none of that. He's going to adjust. And when he does, he's going to set something up that's going to be big. He has great timing. And again, he got that eye. Like he sees it. Like I've seen him spar dudes and he can walk back to the corner and be like, watch this. And then boom, just knock the dude straight out. You know, his timing is crazy. He's very precise, bro. He's right on, he's right on the money. You know, he knows where to place the punches. That's what I like about him the most. He knows where to place the punches. From body shots to head shots, whatever it is. His timing and that and that uh placing is crazy. Mm. Crazy. That's a, so he's a great setup. Shout out to uh two tank for the super sticker, man. I definitely appreciate you, my brother. First uh donation of the day. Definitely uh, appreciate you, my bro. So we got 82 people on the live, 83 people on the live, 37 likes. Let's get these likes up into 40 and the 50s and stuff like that. We got you some great content right here. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, do the whole thing. It's Mill City Boxing, home of the high level pro boxing media. We up now, we up next. Um, so nevertheless, uh, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson and, you know, Javante Davis, two elite southpaws coming into the game that you shared the ring with. Not a lot of people have shared the ring with with all three of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, what do you take from, you know, sharing the ring with these three elite fighters? The only person I know that has shared the ring with all three of them is like Kenneth Sims and Africa, really. And, you know, maybe Terrence Crawford. Uh and I haven't even spoke to Terrence Crawford yet. So um, talk to me. Like, you got two softballs in there. Um, what make? What's the difference maker when we talk about, um, you know, IQ when it, when it comes down to setting traps? And obviously they're coming off of the same angle, so there's less traps that they could give to uh, just, you know, a regular orthodox fighter. Okay. Uh, so that's something to think about. Exactly. You're talking about them two in the ring together. It's definitely going to be here because they're both that far. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be more of a boxing, you know, match for sure. Um, and I'll keep it blunt with you. I really think that uh, it's going to be interesting. In that race. I think Shakur is going to be a lot more active and he's going to be landing a lot of shots, I think. Um, in the perfect world, in my head, I won't say in a perfect world, but in my head, how I would envision the fight, Shakira will be winning every round, clearly. And then Tank just presses him and catch him when he gets too comfortable. I feel like that Shakira is going to be landing some shots and he's going to take a chance and he's going to get hit and it's going to be bad. Mm. That's what I think. Mm. That's what I think. Mm. Now, if Shakira just being on his A game and stay smart, it don't get hit, don't take Risk. You can walk out there with a unanimous decision. Mm. So you believe this is a true 50-50 fight? Definitely. And you don't really lean towards anybody. Yeah, with that fight, it can go either way. Right. But right. of course, I don't I wouldn't I'm not gonna say this. I don't think that Tank wins by decision with you. And that's only because unless he's just dropping them and Shakira gets back up and then don't get stopped. Cool. Gotcha. That's the only way. Yeah. Now, outside of that, you know, this is you know, it's going toe to toe, and it's just straight up boxing. I, I think that Shakira is the better boxer. I mean, he probably will outbox Tank. He's more, again, he's more active. So. Mm -hmm. But um, again, fifty fifty because I feel like Shakira's gonna box and maybe get caught. Tank got that equalizer. We all know that. But it'll be it's gonna be interesting, and it is really gonna be interesting how Tank adjusts to Shakira. That's what I would like to see the most. I didn't. 